Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. Uh, today we are going to put some uh, ARP extended uh, studs on the front of the car. Here's some. I put them on the back of the car uh, a few months ago. I, I put up a video. The back is a little different than the front because it has a parking brake. Um, backing plate on it if you're if it's not a, a race car and has a parking brake if it's a street car uh, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to do the fronts a little easier uh, they're shorter studs these are long ones these are about uh, three inch I think maybe three and a quarter and in the front I'm going to uh, take off the stock ones and I'm going to put some other ARPs I think they're about two and a quarter so I've got a little shorter stud to work with I may be able to um, take a shortcut on the front we'll see uh, right now I'm going to uh, jack the car up okay now we're pulling the uh, caliper off with an 18 millimeter 18 millimeter to hold that nut there and then a socket that's 16 millimeter socket upper lower caliper comes off hi quick correction that socket to take the uh, caliper out is a 15 not a 16 um, now we're going to take the caliper bracket off and that is uh, a 21 millimeter. You're going to need to get the car up high because you're going to need a breaker bar to get these off. They're torqued to a very high spec. Uh, and I'll give it to you later. Here's a little trick uh, <clears throat> to get at these caliper bracket bolts. You can uh, get in the car and turn the steering wheel and that will rotate the whole knuckle assembly out so you can get a long wrench on there okay okay the bracket is off we take the rotor off now we're down to it here's our uh, our studs I'll get one of the new ones and I'll show you the difference in them alright there's your uh, stock stud on the right a hair over two inches and the ARP I'm going to put in on the left. Oh, I got to watch the angle of this. It's about two and a half inches. There. Okay. Yeah, my my video cut out there. I don't know if it was a battery or uh, I hit the button. Anyway, what I was saying is, on the front, you don't have to pull the corner off. You don't have to pull this upright off. You can get in the stock size you can get in a half inch bigger with an ARP on the back you couldn't do that because there was a parking brake backing plate in the way you could drill it I didn't want to drill mine because it looked kind of like a, a hinky or bubble way of doing things so I took the whole corner off in the back the front I'm not going to have to do it so I'm not going to do it here you go okay I got four of them in there's one uh, spot right there that uh, when they're not pulled all the way in they hit right there so I can't get the fifth one in uh, but what I wanted to tell you is this I got every one of those in by hand I didn't force anything I didn't pry anything I didn't hammer anything they all go in by hand and now I'm going to show you how to pull them in the rest of the way you want to get a bunch of washers like that one more and a lug nut I've got an air gun you could do this uh, with uh, a ratchet too or a breaker bar but what you're going to do is you're going to pull it in just pull it in now those those splines have to match up with some grooves so use your fingers and make sure that you've got it started in the right place you can kind of feel each time it drops into a little groove you can feel it 
and make sure it's lined up right. And then I'll show you. You're going to gun them on. And uh, that's it. And you just put it back together. One sec. Okay, that's all the way in. Okay, one's done, four to go. Now, the first time you torque your wheels back on, your rims, you're going to pull this a little bit more in to the hub. And I would also suggest you, you check your torque spec on your rims after you've driven it for a few miles also, uh, just to make sure these are all set in there all the way, you know, that they're in all the way. Uh, so four more to go. Uh, do the other side. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, I wanted to give you the torque spec on the caliper bracket. Caliper bracket is 125 foot pounds. Oh, pound feet. I'm sorry, 125 pound feet. And and the guide pin bolts that hold the caliper onto the bracket are 23 pound feet. Now I like to put a little uh, Loctite on both of those. Okay. So there you have it. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, rinse and repeat. Do the other side the same way. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more from Froggy, subscribe. I'll be doing uh, lots of maintenance on uh, C5 Corvette, also a BMW M3, an 07 328i BMW, and a couple of my SUVs, a Ford and a Chevy. Okay? Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye. I'm over on the right side now. Um, I just thought it might be interesting to show you how easy, quote, it is to get the old lug nuts out. I know a lot of guys, uh, they don't like to pound on these lug nuts. They want to take a, a, um, a puller or, or something that makes it, makes it easier on the bearing. Uh, in my opinion, if you track the car and you're going over the curbs uh, five or six times a lap in the red group for 25 minutes times five sessions, I think the bearings are taking a lot more of a beating uh, when you're doing that than what I'm going to show you. But anyway, I'm just going to show you now what it takes. This is a three-pound hammer, so let me hold it steady. See, that's it. There was not any huge hit. So I just wanted to show you that.